Hey, so here we are at the Paul Bunyan State Forest, kicking off the biggest family ride we've ever been on. Ended up being just an incredible day. It was the Mike Pohl Memorial Ride out of the Martineau Trailhead. The leaves were turning color and there wasn't a drop of moisture to be had in the whole forest. One thing that really sucked is I lost my GoPro on this ride. After five years of filming dirt bikes, I've never lost a GoPro in the woods. Or if I have dropped a GoPro, I've at least been able to stop and pick it up somewhere. What's even more disappointing is I had all kinds of footage of mini bikes doing hard enduro, which would have been uh, it would have been a pretty funny video to watch because uh, there was 365s on this ride, a Husky 50, and a KTM e-bike. And when you got all these kids together, they were really pushing each other as to see who can go through what without crashing. It was pretty much the best youth riding that I've seen on trails ever. To top it all off, the GoPro mount on Stanley's GoPro must have been touching his front number plate, so it was vibrating the whole time, which kind of sounded like a Geiger counter picking up radiation. I've got a handlebar mount set up on Stanley's dirt bike for a GoPro, that way he could use it during races this year. And somehow on the way back, his GoPro ended up snapping off too. That was the mount that broke. Fortunately, one of the guys that we were with was able to find it accidentally on the way back from doing a little tour looking for my GoPro, of all things. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to do some ranting and raving. I watch a lot of dirt bike videos on YouTube, and when there's no commentary on the videos, I find myself skipping them pretty quick. I assume people do the same thing with my videos. I wanted to talk a little bit about Cardo helmet communicators. So me and Stanley have had the Cardo Pack Talk Bold communicators for a few years, and I've really been a huge fan of them. It took our trail riding to the next level once we started using them. I didn't have to stop and turn around every 20 yards to see if he was behind me. And likewise, it kind of gave him a level of confidence knowing that I was always within uh, earshot away, metaphorically. The other family that we were riding with had the Cardo Pack Talk Edge helmet communicators, and they've had that for a while. Uh, the one thing that we've never really done is tried linking them all together so the whole group of us could talk to each other. And we finally did that on this ride, and I gotta say, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I was really concerned that with three kids on the same line, that there would be a lot of yapping and it would get a little distracting, but that really wasn't the case. Once the riding started, everyone kind of quieted down and kept the airwaves clear until we needed to actually communicate. If you ride with kids, I can't recommend the Cardo communicators enough. They are legit, and it took our riding to the next level. If I got time for one more rant, I just wanted to say that I downloaded the Onyx Off-Road Elite Package mapping system. I've used Avenza maps for quite a few years. I don't really use them to track my riding, I just use it for a you are here moment when you're on the trail. Fortunately, I didn't pay full price for it. Uh, there was some kind of 70% off discount online, so I only paid a fraction of what it costs. Uh, I don't know if I'll be updating my subscription next year when it comes time to renew. The one thing that I will say is kind of nice is uh, with the Elite Package, you get property boundaries on the maps. I know some people use the Onyx Hunt app because it offers property boundaries as one of the base packages on there. And that 
uh, works pretty nice when you're laying out trails, especially when you uh, know that you have neighboring property owners that uh, may or may not condone your activities. But as far as uh, Onyx goes, I'm kind of kind of disappointed at what I uh, experienced here over this ride. I also can't say enough about the Paul Bunyan State Forest Trails. I spend a lot of time working at Nemeji. I'm a section leader there. I uh, also uh, spend time in all the other trail systems across the state. But man, it's Paul Bunyan in fall where I think that riding just doesn't get better. We've got elevation, uh, you get the leaves changing color, you got flow, you got hills, you got rocks, uh, it's all, it, it's the total package. Um, there's definitely tougher trail systems, there's faster trail systems, but when it comes down to it, Paul Bunyan has to be my favorite state forest to ride in. I hope you all have a chance to get back out on the trails. We've got winter coming soon, so see you out there.